Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about employee payroll in Excel. We have basic employee name column. We have employee pay column. We have total hours worked by employee column. Similarly, we have overtime column and total overtime hours by employee column. And we will calculate total gross pay of employee using this data. We have also income tax column for tax deduction. Similarly, we have other deductions column. Finally, we will get net pay of an employee. So we start our example by inserting employee pay. Like Matthew earned 250 per hour. Similarly, Roger earns 300. Ram Prakash 6 to 5, Tom 500, and John 8 to 5. This is the pay of each employee. Now we need to insert per hour wage for each employee. So Matthew gets 160, Roger gets 155, Ram gets 162, Tom gets 140, and John 1 for 8. Now we move to our third overtime column. Matthew gets total 1,500. Roger gets total 1,000. Prakash 2,000. Tom gets 1,500. And John 1,200. Now we move to our total overtime hours column. Again, we need to insert overtime individually. You can insert data as per your needs. Now we need to find gross pay with these elements. First, we write here equals to end bracket. Then we need to select pay cell. Now we need to insert here multiply sign. Then multiply it with total hours worked cell. This is our first bracket data. Now add addition sign along with new bracket. Again, select overtime cell. Now insert multiply sign and select total overtime hours. This is how we have completed gross pay formula. Now you can insert comma style for the figure. And you can increase or decrease decimals. Now we need to drag down formula to apply below. We can also make font style more better. Now right click on it. Click on format cell option. Now click on number option for more styles. Select your desired style. This completes our gross pay column. Now we need to calculate tax. First, insert equals to sign and select gross pay cell. Then insert multiply sign. Now we need to insert our rate. That is 18%. You can add percentage sign. This is how we get income tax on gross pay. Now drag down formula to apply below. We do not need to apply formula individually. Now move to our other deductions. You can insert deductions individually. You can insert deductions as per your needs. This is how our other deductions completed. Now we move to our last column. To find total net pay, we need to manually create formula, like select total gross pay cell, insert minus sign and select income tax cell. Again, insert minus sign and select other deductions. Now we need to drag down formula to apply below. This is how we have completed our net pay column. Now we need to make formatting. Go on Format Painter option. Apply on required columns. This is how we have completed our formatting as well. Now we need to fill our last row. Simply use here equals to sign and some formula. Now select whole column. Now we need to drag formula to apply on other cells. You can also make formatting similar to above using Format Painter. 
Go on Format Painter option. Select the whole required cells. You can also change the row color. Insert cell color as per your desire. Now we can test our payroll system by changing values. If we change pay of Matthew, it will impact on gross pay and net pay as well. Now again change pay of John. It will also impact on total as well. This is how you can create employee payroll system